Okay, Lisa. I just had a great idea. Why are you moving like that? You know how you're making the mobile version of our game? Okay, what's up with you? It's just 15 cups of coffee. It's fine. It's no big deal. What? 15? Anyways, I'm going to make a desktop version of the game. I think you need to call a doctor. Anyways, love you. Bye. Hi there everyone, Stanley Orr here, and welcome back to Caffeinated Dragonware, where my wife Lisa and I are documenting the production of a video game called Exit Stage Left. The idea is simple. You play as one of two siblings who are currently starring in a theater production. The problem is, they're both total stage hogs and don't know when they've overstayed their welcome. So, your job as the player is to dodge rival actors, stage props, and rotten fruit from the audience, all in a bid to stay on stage for as long as possible. Now, while my wife Lisa handles the coding, I am in charge of the assets and music. And you are in charge of making us happy in our brains. So far, we've followed Lisa's journey in producing the mobile version of the game while we periodically cut back to me doing art and music assets. But lately I haven't really had much to do, and in my quest to come up with content for the channel, I've sort of hit a bit of a creative roadblock. So I decided to take it upon myself to create a desktop version of the game in Click Team Fusion! I've had this software for a while, but haven't gotten around to using it because my brain is full of ideas and I flip from one to another like a coked up squirrel in an acorn farm in the middle of winter. So, let's just take a deep breath and just crank out this bad boy, yeah! So as you might know, being the art guy, I do not have much in the way of programming knowledge. This is why Click Team Fusion is, in my opinion, a great match for me. It is entirely event-based, a lot of visuals there, stuff that I can really latch onto when it comes to programming. A lot, of, a lot of programmers don't like visual coding, not me. I am totally okay with it. And hey, it's not like the engine itself is anything to snip at. Very, very famous games were made with this engine. Uh, you might have heard of one of them. That's right, The Escapists! Also, some random thing about a murderous Chuck E. Cheese parody? I, I don't know, I live under a rock. Anyways, to get started, I had a very simple goal for this video. First of all, I wanted to animate three different sequences. Two different idle animations, and a dash animation. Flip that both ways for facing right and facing left, since the characters are somewhat asymmetrical. And then also multiply that by two, because there's a brother character and a sister character. And then we come up with a grand total of... Let me see, three, that's six times two, uh, 12! 12 different animations, which is actually gonna be fairly easy considering I've already rigged up the cartoon puppets. And with that in mind, all I had to do was just take those puppets and pose them in a few different animation loops, which I did on my own time and during a live stream. <laughs> what if I just make it extreme for a second here? And then the torso counterbalancing it. How would this look? <laughs> oh, that looks so ridiculous. <laughs> After they're animated, I'm going to bring those sprites into Click Team Fusion, and then do something super, super basic. Just make it so that when I press left or right, the character dashes in that direction, and then randomly snaps back to one of the two random idle poses, and waits for me to hit left or right so they can dash again, and then pick one of those two poses. And there we go! It was a bit of a rocky start, but things are up and running now the proper way. I've got basic movement, and well that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to check back with us, we post videos every other Saturday, so be sure to subscribe and drop a like and comment and do all that great stuff that makes us feel worthy of your time. Until then, see ya.